In this video, I want to do a performance overview of the Ubuntu 14.04 running on a Raspberry Pi 2. I've done a previous video, and I'll link to that in the description. Uh, this video is a little bit different because I've optimized this a little bit. I have a, I'll also link in the description to a video where I build this build. But the differences between this and the first video is that in the first video I was using a Sony micro SD card and now I'm using a SanDisk Extreme Pro micro SD card, which should be quite a bit faster. I've also overclocked the Raspberry Pi to 1 gigahertz, and I'm also uh, running the latest build, which has some optimizations in it for the uh, windowing manager and such. So, first thing I'll do is reboot this machine so you can uh, get an idea of how long it takes to boot. I'll log in, the username and password for default is Ubuntu. So I'll do a few tasks on the system. The first thing I'll do is change the wallpaper. So to do that, I'll right click on the background and say desktop settings. It has a number of different uh, background options. I'll choose these rocks here. Next, I'll open up Firefox. And I'll open up the Raspberry Pi website. Another difference is that I'm recording this with an Elgato game capture as opposed to just pointing a video camera at a monitor, so it should be a little bit uh, crisper. I'll click on the blog here. practical benchmark would be to run the Sun Spider uh, JavaScript test. So I'll do a search for that. I'll start that test. Okay, so the result we got here is 1800 milliseconds uh, total time to run. Uh, by comparison, my iPhone 5S uh, is 434 milliseconds. I did run this uh, previously on an unaccelerated Raspberry Pi 2, and I think it was around 24 or 2500 milliseconds. So uh, the overclocking definitely speeds, speeds, up the spun, speeds up the Sun Spider test. Next, I'll open up YouTube. It takes a minute for the page to load, but it does load. 
and it scrolls fairly well. I'm scrolling with the scroll wheel on my mouse. I'll click on this video here. Help protect yourself from hepatitis A and or hepatitis B. So it looks like this is a 360p setting right now. And it's buffering. I don't know if this will play or not, but uh, I've tried this test before and it uh, was real choppy playing video so it's not using accelerated uh, graphics in firefox uh, to play a youtube video but uh, i imagine if this becomes popular uh, that will be implemented uh, that would be a very nice feature um, i've also tried the uh, epiphany browser uh, which is on raspbian and uh, this actually had a faster sun spider test than that so so yeah this is taking quite a while i'm going to close this out we go back up to our menu, um, we can look at some of the other things. Here's GNumeric, which is a spreadsheet. Type in some numbers here. I'll do a fill down. This is a fill across. It's decent performance. I don't know if you'd want to put a, uh, a very detailed spreadsheet in here, but for basic stuff, I think this would work. We'll open up Abby Word. I noticed before on my previous build that when you typed, it took quite a while for the characters to show up on the screen. I think this is a little bit more responsive than that. So, much more usable. Okay, well that completes my overview. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll put links to my other videos um, in there. Uh, I also have a playlist uh, with Raspberry Pi videos with some open elect uh, videos and such like that if you want to check those out. So if you like this, uh, please click like. Uh, please comment if you have any questions and share this video. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.